Hey there, Ichigo. I finally found you. And just in time, apparently. Easy now. You don't know what kind of guns this girl is holding. <laughs> you think you can beat me? Let's not try to find out right now. Because after all, what have I done to you? It's wrong to judge a book by its cover. You must be thinking that there's already a number two Espada. <laughs> but that old man has nothing against me. So which is it? Do you trust an Espada? Or are you gonna die fighting her? I may be the face of an Espada, but I despise Aizen. Ichigo Kurosaki, let me help you. We will fight and we will win. Well, that gave me shivers. Let's show you how to do it now. So, get hair out of the way. By the way guys, you'd be impressed with me. I am getting so much faster at putting contacts on, you don't even know, oh my word. So for this look, obviously you saw the pictures, or video I should say, that I have one contact on. So, getting started, beautifying the eyes with this double-ended eyeliner, liquid eyeliner at that. And, you know, my mirror's down there. So I'll show you eventually what it's gonna look like. Any second now. What the look is gonna look like. On my eyes. Anytime. Oh, and here we are. So taking this black pencil, doing my lower waterline. Black eyeshadow, same technique I always use. Putting that triangle in the corner lateral of my eye if you know what I mean anatomically and then doing this little circle I couldn't find the brush I wanted to use so that have to do and I added some purple into that too obviously I didn't show that wow this is going really fast I did some mascara and then I wiped away any excess eyeshadow that's falling on my cheeks and if you're going to do foundation or anything you know me I am not going to do that so, before you go any further, put your foundations on, do your contouring of whichever source you want to do. And the next thing we're going to do is, I'm putting some, I guess you can call tiger stripes of some sort. It all depends on what the design of your mask is that you may want to apply also some sort of design to your face. Now moving on to the latex. Now don't say I didn't warn you, latex is messy as hell. I mean really messy. Do not wear anything you do not want to get damaged or ruined by latex. You have been warned. Next, unravel some cotton balls as much as you think you'll need for that bottom jaw piece. With a little makeup sponge, place some liquid latex on the jaw area you want that jaw piece to be on. And then I'll be taking a cotton piece starting from the bottom, making myself a jawline, and saturating the crap out of it with the liquid latex. And then I just build up on top of that with more cotton balls and liquid latex until I have the shape I want and the thickness I want. Be careful, it can stick to your fingers. Clearly. And then taking smaller pieces of cotton balls, I'm saturating those with liquid latex and shaping them into teeth and placing them wherever I want them to be. So again, place as many as you want. All depending on what your mask is and what it looks like. Who knows, you may not even need teeth at all. So while the whole thing dries on my face, 
I'm brushing on what's called Rigid Collodion. It's a scarring liquid, which is really cool. And it works best on fatty areas of your face. So like your lips I'm putting. So I'm putting some on my lips and my nose and my cheek. By the way, you've obviously noticed the house coat. It's cold here, okay? So I have this little Mefrin square palette that has white, gray, and black on it. And I'm just coloring the jaw piece completely in white because when latex dries, it kind of turns yellowish. So I want that jaw piece to be white to match my mask. And of course I don't show you this palette. Oh, oh, well, now, now I decide to show that palette. Good job, Anya. Anyway, taking the black part of that palette, I'm now making a design on the jaw piece that would blend in well with what I have on my mask. Again, this all has to do with what design you made on your mask and how you've made it. Now to apply this thing. Hopefully you've made your mask pretty thin. If you're wondering how I made the mask, comment down below and I will sure make a video about it. But hopefully if you did make your mask, it's pretty thin and light to easily sit on your face. If it's heavy, you're, you're screwed. Spear gum, every special effects artist's best friend. So spear gum, you apply it in the areas that are gonna be touching the surface of your face so that it'll stick onto your face. Spear gum is about kind of a brownish yellow color. So when you apply it onto your mask, you want to wait till it's about clear. And that's when you know it's tacky enough. Yes, it smells to stick onto your face. <laughs> As it is now ready to be set on my face. I just want to push it not too hard on my face. Hold it for maybe 30 seconds just to make sure it's on there. And then you can just feel free to let go whenever that may be. Like maybe now. Yep, and there you go. So that's stuck on my face. Now this next part is optional. What I wanted to do is add a little bit of contrast to the teeth. So I took some black and brown eyeshadow and mixed it in there. And then I also put some where my forehead and nose nose bridges just to make it more contrast because half of my mask did get half taken off. So at some point, who knows when. It'd be really cool if you guys can maybe, I don't know, come up with a name for this character. Maybe tell me what your thoughts are to be what her background story would be. Comment down below. I'm very curious to find out. Anyway, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.